Oh, how you doing, folk? Charlie out and about. It was actually great. You can hear that cuckoo. It flew past my van uh, on the way back for the, the Green Loch. There was like a sl slitted eyes and black and browny colour cuckoo. Very elusive. And it was good speaking to Alec. Alec came up and gave me a wee visit. And Alec will get a piece of anybody's door. <laughs> Even a wee bit of water stuff. So good on him. Well done, Alec. And I was talking to two bikers. Uh, they're, they're free the area. And they said there's a nice place at Loch Inberg. There's a kitten old ruined castle there. So I've, I've checked it out. It's only 51 miles away. So I'm gonna head I'm gonna head there to the castle at Loch Loch Inberg. So I thought it gives a wee last view the Cairn Gomes before I go on my way. And thanks for the visit, Alec. I really appreciate it, mate. It's good to, always good to talk to you. And we were talking about that big boulder up there. And one day it will come down. I'd love to see it coming down, but obviously not be on its road. Big massive boulder up there. Yeah, you can see it. That'll come down Monday. Not today, because I'm out and about. Charlie, head north. How beautiful is this? See the ruins of the castle there. A boy out now. What's called? Most of them is off. I want to thank the two bikers that I spoke to today for pointing me in this direction. This is uh, Loch Lochenburg, Lochendor. That's the castle, Lochendor Castle, which means Lock of Trouble or Lock of Menials, and it's classed as an Edwardian castle after it was captured by, in 1303 by Edward I and it was stolen from the, the communes Lord of Badenoch and a few years later, in 1306, it was again strengthened by Edward II, the son of Edward I and it lies on the eastern shore of Loch Endor Lorkendorf is 969 feet deep. It's two miles long and it's two thirds of a mile broad. What a beautiful place. Oh, downside is I'm only at 3G here. So thanks very much to the bakers for setting. For Tell me about this place. The castle was amazing. Imagine that now, it's a lot of splendour. There's two big, big towers. You can see why Ed would be first wanted that. And seeing that the, the lords of uh, Barnock, they were near, they, they raided other castles and churches and cathedrals and all that kind of stuff. It's a beautiful spot. This is me heading for Nairn. It's a wee single track road. A lot of passing places. It's good to see Nadie's partner in the passing places. This is a wee camp area here. Which I've managed to grab a space. Anyway, so there we go. Beautiful, isn't it? See if you can feed the ducks.
got, he's in there. <laughs> oh, I'm cut off. Oh, he got it, Boldies. Back to my rock, the loch, the first cairn. And the last bit of the video there, you can hear something like that. It's the fibrillator. It was actually a lassie and a wee blown up a, a canoe. An air canoe. I like this would be a good place to bring the canoes, the kayaks and get across to that castle. That'd be good. bring my cooker in because it wasn't boiling it said the wind's picking up so that's uh, that's my coffee all done mm. <laughs> put it in the filter so 
Smells absolutely tremendous. Any excess put back in, there's not much. Just put it back in. There we go. Mind when you're pouring the water down these circles. Just let it filter through. Because you've waited this long for it. Another couple of minutes. I'm the last man standing again. That's that fault in the way. I think it was too windy to do their windsurfing or whatever that's called. Standing up surfing. There's a wee bit of the wind's picking up. So they went out for a couple of minutes and then they, they run away. So once again I'm the last man standing. The way I like it. I'm putting my stuff away. I'm still waiting for that to filter through. Smells tremendous by the way. It even gives a nice smell to the, the van, that strong coffee smell. Just don't go daft to it. There. Thanks Susan for the Gary Baldy biscuits. We'll use ex military, I'll remember them. Hard tank and fruit biscuits. As you see, a place for everything and everything in its place. So as I know exactly where it is when I go to get it. I've always been like that. And it's good in the van because I know where everything is. It's only murder when Susan, <laughs> Susan comes out with me. She puts stuff back. She says, ah, I'll fit in there, it goes there. And then when I go to get it, it's not, it's not where I expect it to be. But that's just the way Susan is. That's why we're compatible, you might say. So I'm just waiting patiently now for the coffee to filter through. And then I'm going to sit outside and try and phone my good lady. And I don't put milk in this, I'm not putting milk in it. I'm going to have it the way it is. <laughs> I, I was home today outside, but obviously that wind picking up. <laughs> and we hear we we horn we poke through. Help it on its way. I'm telling everybody I have patience to come on. One coffee.
Nearly there, nearly done. As long as that been five minutes. Stripping away nicely. So see when I go outside. There you go, coffee. Tremendous. It's absolutely beautiful. Gary Baldies. And we'll feed the ducks and all. There's no doubt wants to see these. They'll go mental. Here it come. So this is where it's all about. Out in a bit. The ducks. I think he's having trouble with the raisins. There we go, cup of coffee, in the sunshine, the brilliant scenery, an old ruined castle, feeding ducks, make a jasper, so I'll speak to you all soon, thanks for watching, Charlie, waiting about, well tonight I'm getting mushrooms and butter, and I'm going to have Susan boat me this. I shall have a chicken korma. And I'm going to put the mushrooms in that. It smells absolutely lovely, man down. And everything's charging up with my jacket. I've charged all my lights up, my fag, my vape, my, my phone's on charging now, my smart watch. I've done 8,170 steps a day, so I'm fair chuffed for myself. So there we go, so I'm just going to have a bit of scoff. And then I'm going to play ball with the sun. So I'll speak to you all soon. Thanks for watching. Charlie out and about. It's a half a minute. What a crack night it is. Crack day. I'm last man standing again. There's half the back drop. Eh? Here's the castle. This is when you want a wee canoe to get to that castle. So I'm all, I'm all set for my bed. I'm watching still the game on the telly. Jack and Victor. I laugh my ass off every time I, I, I see them. They're just out there on that wee island there. There's a wee bird, I don't know if it's got a... If it's eggs. It's one of the birds that lays its eggs on the, on the ground. Eggs over there. There's a couple of ducks. 
Anyway, so that's me set up. This will be the last, uh, the last part of my out and about in May. 2023. So head for Nairn tomorrow. And a guy came out in his canoe and he said, <laughs> I know exactly what that means. He said, I saw it last week. He says, now I see it everywhere I go. I says, I dilly gaff, mate. I don't know where that is up there. That's a, that's a moon, just to the right. Something seems to be hovering. There's a satellite. Anyway, Charlie out and about. Thanks for coming, Mamie. And that was good news, Sandra. I'm, I'm chuffed for you. And Jim, Jim Smith, I'll give you a wee bell when I get back, mate. Hope you had a good time with the, the Grand Mains. I'll speak to you later, buddy. And I'll let you take care, mate. I'll see you next time I'm up. So everybody, look after yourselves. Have a nice weekend. I'll catch you tomorrow. Charlie out and about. Charlie out and about. Can you watch still game? Speak to you later. Ta-da.